two overtime. Tip off goes to the Lakers. And away we go here with post regulation basketball. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here, brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So the Bulls five right now. Grant is out there with Pippen. And it's Michael Jordan. And it's John Paxson. And it's Cartwright in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Scott. Can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Grant. Jordan against Scott. Paxson kicks to Jordan. To the paint. And the jam by Bill Cartwright. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. Nice, nice way there, guys, to finish up that possession. Devon sets a screen. From T. Johnson. No luck. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. They've led by as much as 10. The long-range bomb from Magic Johnson. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Pass to Paxson. Grant against Devox. Pass to Paxson. Kicks to Jordan. Shot clock at six. Nice D from Scott. The Lakers in the lead. Screen by Perkins. Johnson attacking. Here's Scott. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. And you can see he just caught a glimpse of the open man on the perimeter and immediately got him the basketball. Just about two minutes in now to this overtime period. What a game. Screen by Grant for three. And John Paxson good for three. Paxson's got it all tied up now for Chicago. Fantastic bomb there, just especially against the taller defender. Clutch shooting, determination, and plenty of skill, too. Perkins with a screen on Paxson. Scott the pass to Perkins. This is to Johnson. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Hip it. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. This is where their depth becomes such an asset, Kevin. He's going for the remainder of the game, but fortunately, they're able to field a very capable replacement. Bulls making a switch here. Honors checked in, and the first one drops. And Johnson drops them both. We're just over two and a half minutes into overtime in this exciting game. Jordan, the pass to Paxson. He kicks to Bob. Michael Jordan on the wing. Devonts the rebound. Devonts has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Obviously, they're evenly matched teams on the inside. The rebound numbers are very even. Yeah, impressive effort from both on the back end. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Paxson against Johnson. Here's Cartwright. There's the pass to Paxson. And taken away by Johnson. Just under three and a half minutes played in the extra period here. Scott dishes the D-box. Puts up the baby hook. Second shot opportunity. It's tipped. And here's Paxson. He feeds it to Grant. It's stolen by Green. And pushing it out. Here's Los Angeles. And finished off by Scott. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. That indicates the importance of great on-the-ball defense, as was displayed right there. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They trail by six. 109 left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. 
Here's Jordan. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Jordan's got 32 points in the game. Timeout called the Lakers. They're ahead by four. 105 left to play in the first overtime. Johnson against Paxson. Green with a screen on Paxson. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Yeah, the defender all over. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. Yeah, showing off a really smooth stroke there. And that will add to their lead. Outside, Jordan. Hit by Cartwright. This is it to Paxson. They get it back. Over to the wing. Moves back up. No good. Great D that time from Green. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Just a fantastic game for Johnson. He's got 24 points and eight dimes. He's showing us those quick hands today, both when he has the ball and when he doesn't. Clark, you, you love the fact that he's a terrific distributor, but also, how about those defensive instincts? That's also been excellent today. Well, the comeback hopes are out the window now. I think it's safe to say. Yeah, it's a done deal. It's um, wrap time for this group. Here's Grant, and he uses both hands to jam it in. That is some real serious dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. And now we've got the intention of foul. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Two shots. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Chicago calls timeout. They're losing by eight. 19 seconds left in the first overtime. What do you think, guys? And, and look, this one's out of reach. I don't know what they're thinking with this timeout. Neither do I. I mean, maybe they're going over their plans for after the game. Who knows? But let's just get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan High and throwing down the hard one-hander. <laughs> One of his favorite moves right there, guys. And, and really, he does that one as well as anyone. Kev, you're right. That's like his signature move once he goes airborne. Taking two shots. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. This definitely wasn't the way they envisioned overtime working out. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. All the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. And so Jordan nails both of them. And now we've got the intentional foul. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. At the line for two. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that makes it a seven-point lead. This definitely wasn't the way they envisioned overtime working out. Buries it. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Yeah, but Greg, they didn't really have a... Another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting him in his hands and making sure he was the guy to go to the line. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good, and it's a seven-point game. This definitely wasn't the way they envisioned overtime working out. And so the Lakers take the win. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, Clark, but things finally came together for him in overtime. Looked to me like the amber light on the gas tank didn't quite come.